I literally expected this book to be more of a textbook as it's entitled Deviate, The Science of Seeing Differently. However, strangely, the concepts were easy to understand for the non-scientists. And interestingly, this book brings you into an almost metaphysical world of abstract where thoughts become things. The overall principles of the book seem to be Perception is a key to individual survival. The author of this book is Bo Lotto, who is a professor of neuroscience. And what I found interesting about him is that he prefers to run experiments live and infield as opposed to using the traditional focus groups and questionnaires. Deviate starts off discussing color. The book then goes into detail about the infamous social media dress or the dress. Apparently, the dress, or more specifically, the color of the dress, not only created controversy and discussion, but also forced people to question their own perceptions. Many people were bothered by the fact that they saw the dress as a different color than their friends or family did. Deviate then gives some good examples of context is everything and how the relationship of colors can force you to see colors differently. In this example, the gray circle inside the dark box looks lighter than the gray circle inside the white box. But they are the exact same shade of gray. This is an example of objective reality being different than perceptual reality. The perception of each color is influenced by the color that surrounds it. Now, everything you experience takes place in the brain. This book states that only 10% of the information your brain uses to see comes from your eyes. 90% comes from other areas of the brain. The structure and content of this book can be deep and at times a little confusing. However, there are a lot of visual pictures, charts, and games that make the material more understandable. One of the shocking and fun experiences is called the freezing eye experiment and claims or proves that without difference in space and time, you would see nothing. So first of all, to do this experiment, find something to stare at. Then with one hand, cover one eye, and with the other hand, use your thumb and forefinger to hold open your eye. Then just keep your eye open and continue to stare. Hold your eye in place and keep completely still. Your vision will start to blur and eventually look like a white smear. This exercise shows how you are eliminating context and blocking your brain's ability to make meaning. Basically, you will go blind with no change, difference, or contrast in space and time. The world just disappears. And this experiment shows your brain is only interested in change, difference, and contrast. The brain allows us to create our own perceptions and thus alter our future perceptual-based behaviors. The author states that imagining things visually is no different than seeing them. This part of the book gets a little 
like the secret in the way that it suggests you can use mental simulation and cognitive rehearsal to help in multiple aspects of your life. The same way that an athlete may work on visualizing a perfect performance, others can use mental imagery to cure things such as social anxiety. Basically, you can influence what you see in the future just by thinking about it today. Now, those people who think positively today are statistically more likely to do the same tomorrow. Kind of like inertia, momentum, getting off on the right foot, play the part, fake it till you make it. Ben Underwood. One of the more fascinating parts of Deviate was a section on Ben Underwood. Ben was able to train himself to use the same sonic navigation system that bats use. Ben, as a child, had a rare form of cancer that attacked his retina. In order to contain the cancer and keep it from spreading throughout his body, Ben had to have both of his eyes removed, which left him completely blind at the age of three. Now, amazingly, Ben was able to teach himself echolocation, a technique in which he used his tongue as a percussive instrument against the roof of his mouth, which is called clicking. Ben would teach himself how the sound he generated from this clicking noise would differ depending on if it was bouncing off of, for example, a car, a bicycle. He could basically differentiate between the car, a bike, a house, and tell what it was without actually being able to see it with his eyes. And believe it or not, Ben could actually ride a bike, play basketball, and even play video games. Ben was able to physically change his brain through trial and error and through action and reaction. One of the more interesting and probably the most important part of the book was the concept of when you want to get from A to B, you first need to go to not A, which is uncertainty or deviate. You must stop your first response to a situation. Now the author likens this to meditation where you empty your mind and just stop. Basically you calm your mind, you stop everything and don't allow your previous biases to enter the situation or problem you're dealing with, which will allow a new and creative way of addressing the problem or situation. So basically, when you're trying to get from point A to point B, in this author's opinion, you first want to go kind of outside and get to not A, take a breath, and just assess the situation from a different way, which he says is creativity. And apparently this is a way to be more creative. It's not that you're born creative, but you use this other strategy or technique to handle situations more creatively. I just went over some interesting concepts I found in the book Deviate. In my opinion, this book has a lot of interesting information. If anyone out there has read this book or has anything to say about it, please let me know your thoughts. Take care and have a great day.